Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to make rack and pinion in Soldworks with correct approach. We also do the animation part as well and we will learn thoroughly. So let's start. First click on design library. Click on toolbox. Click on add in now. Now click on NSI matrix. Click on power transmission. Click on gears. Now what I will do. I will import a spur gear. Now you can increase or decrease the module as per your requirement. In my case, module 1 is fine and number of teeth that is let's say 30. Okay, so you can see how does it look like. And make sure whatever the module that you took, your rack should have the same module, else it will not work. You can increase or decrease the nominal shaft diameter as per your requirement. This hole is called nominal shaft diameter. Okay. And if you want to add some keyways like this, you can add. But in my case, I have no shaft. And okay. So that's for all. And click OK. After that, cancel this. Now I will import a rack. You can increase or decrease the rack as per your requirement, but make sure its module is same with uh, with the pinion, else it will not work. So I think this much is fine. If you want to increase the length, you can increase the length from here or go downwards and increase the length from here as per your requirements. It's up to you. Click OK. Cancel this. Now, the most issue that I see that beginners face, that I also face, how I can place this gear correctly. And one thing that you notice, the selected component is fixed, it cannot be moved. So what I have to do is, right click, click on float. Now I can move it. Now, how can I, you know, place them correctly? So let's see. So first I will select the top plane, click on sketch. Click on here, center line. It doesn't matter what is its length it is just to fix my gear okay my pinion you can say now go to the assembly click on mates select this face select this line click on concentric click ok select this face select the front plane click ok now select this face select this face Click OK. Move downwards. A question come in your mind. How can I calculate the right distance between them? That's also a necessity. Plus, even if you calculate the distance, there is a one more issue. For example, notice it is moving. I don't want it. So, what you can do to fix it? Go to the mate. Select this face. Select the top plane. Make sure it is parallel, not coincident, parallel. Click OK. Let's close this. Now it looks much better. Now select this face, press Ctrl plus 8. Now a question comes to mind, how can I calculate the distance accurately from center to here? That's the issue. So what I will do, I will go here, uh, notice this sketch pop shows up, so right click, click on show, okay. Uh, you are not going to edit this sketch, I warn you, if you try to edit it, you will mess up the whole geometry. So see what is the correct approach. So first I will open a notepad. Select this face, click on sketch. Just you know, I am making sketch in assembly, not on the part, or not I am modifying the part of it. So click on here, center line. Select this point and make it just up to this line. Make sure no external reference is checked on, or oh, oh, there is no such thing. So what you to do is smart dimensions. It is 1.25. Note it down. Bottom bottom to pick circle 
pitch line I guess that's the correct one 1.25 mm and let's change this I don't want it I'm just measuring the distance that's the one so like this line and this line press control Z incident smart dimensions 1.03 so this is 1.03 let me just confirm that the distance I calculated earlier is right so we select this line and this line make it constant it should be 1.25 else yes 1.25 it's better to be you know 100% sure now how can I calculate the distance? That's the main thing. So it's quite easy. What you have to do is, I know that what is my spur gear module and teeth. So as you can see that it returns spur gear 1M. 1M is module 1. 30 T is 30 teeth. Okay. So what is the module formula? Module formula is diameter upon teeth. So I can calculate the diameter. Its diameter is what? 30 mm. So let's see its diameter. Uh, right click, show. So this is the 30 mm diameter. Now, so distance from here to here is how much? It is 15 now but i want the distance from here to here so how much it is uh, i will plus 1.25 so let's see if i am right or wrong so i will click on mate select the top plane and select this face click on distance how much 15 plus 1.25 notice the which this one stands 1.25 the uh, top one doesn't matter don't worry about it click ok so now the now we have calculated the correct distance let's hide the sketch i because it's quite look ugly like my life now i have the correct distance but they are not working so what i will do uh, before I move forward, I have to do one more thing. Sorry for that. Uh, right click, show, click on mate, click on mechanical, select here. What I want is like an opinion. Now, watch carefully in Iraq, you will select this bottom edge, not face edge. So, select this edge. Now, in opinion, you will select this pitch circle. Remember, always you will select pitch circle, not this circle, not this curve, pitch circle. Just in case, if you are importing from step file, what you will do, just go to your gear and create a circle from sketch and use that. Okay, so I will select this pitch circle. It automatically calculate. Click OK. Let's see if it is working or not. Notice, it is working quite great. That's what I want. Let's hide the sketch. Now let's try to do the animation part. Okay, I got to see this. I don't want to see this. Why does no? Okay, now, now how can I animate it? Now watch carefully. Go to the motion study, click on motor, select this face, click on reverse direction because I want to move in this direction. Increase or decrease the speed as per your requirement. In my case, distance. And I think 180 degrees is fine. I don't want to rotate. This is easy. You can rotate if you want to. Go here and increase the FPS. 
higher the FPS, better the result, but uh, load on your PC will increase. Click on calculate. Now let's create a very reciprocate mode. If you guys want to learn in deep detail how to do animation and motion on this one works, I highly recommend. Check out my course link in description. You will learn a lot of things there. If I click on play, you can see how does it look like. So that's for all. I hope you have no doubt. Just in case if you have any, feel free to ask any kind of question. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.